What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I am taking you to Central Florida to some lesser known restaurants with top rated reviews. From a surprisingly delicious Japanese restaurant to a vintage diner that we loved to a southern style buffet with seriously awesome desserts. And it's cool because it's set in a charming historic hotel. And stay to the end for a couple of bonus ones. So we're gonna check out the buffet at the Jacaranda Hotel. This is a historic hotel that was built in the 1920s. It's the Jacaranda Hotel. And um, they are owned by the South Florida State College, I believe. So this is the restaurant. It's in the citrus room. And this is, yeah, a lot of um, old Southern charm. Really pretty. They have like Southern food here. They've got beef. Got southern fried chicken, it's gravy, baked apples, mashed potatoes, zucchini tomatoes, and green beans. So they've got fish. I don't know how to say this. Pangasius fish, I don't know. <laughs> southern, southern fish. Tamales, tamales, sweet corn, and yellow rice, refried beans. It's not a massive place, but um, they have like southern style stuff. So this is the salad bar and it looks really good. Everything looks really fresh. That's good. <laughs> this is a lemon bar. Okay. Apple. Ooh. Strawberry, yeah, and then the other red one is cherry. Okay. Um, peach, this is like a coconut brownie bar type of thing. Peanut butter cheesecake, a chocolate cream pie. Yum. Homemade key lime, our culinary students made. Um, coconut cream, this is a buttermilk pie. Of course, the pumpkin, you have a blondie. Oh man. A brownie, but a blondie. Wow. Um, the white cake that looks like vanilla is actually a coconut. And all the way on the end is the sugar free apple. All right, we're at the table, so if you hear music, it's the man playing piano. I don't know if you guys can hear the piano, but when you're dining, there is a live piano, there's a pianist, and um, I believe in the dinner times, they usually have like a piano concert, which is kind of cool. So yeah, just a really nice place. All right, so this is a southern style buffet. It's not like a ton of selection, but it looks really good. This is um, beef, and this is lime wedges, I think. Give us a, a little tang, I'm gonna try it out and see which one I like the most. Um, southern fried chicken, and this is the fried fish. That was really good. And this was some sort of rice, I forgot what kind of rice it was. They have tamales, that's kinda cool. I'm gonna try it out and see what it tastes like for you guys. The beef was really tender. Um, I like that it had a little tang because of the lime. I'm gonna try the, the fried fish. I couldn't pronounce how to say this fried fish. This is a pretty big chunk. <laughs> and here's some tartar sauce. I'm gonna dip this in tartar sauce. Looks good. Look at that crispiness. The fried fish is so good. Look at all that fish. It's not, you know, mostly bread and little fish. It's a lot of fish. Very crispy. Very, very good. You've got to get the fried fish. If you guys come here, it's really good. All right, this is the tamale. Freshly made. Let's see how I'm going to cut this <laughs> with, nah, with one hand. Hold on. It's freshly made. Um, I would like more seasoning, like more spice. And it's a little dry on the corner, but um, yeah, I think it's it's good, but it could be better. But yeah, it's freshly made. Ta -da! All right, honestly, I think this is the best one, the best out of the whole selection. You've got this um, really crunchy fried fish and southern style green beans. Really good, really tender and mashed potatoes and gravy, and a little slice of spiced apple. This is the brownie. 
coconut brownie. See that? All that stuff in here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> Is it good? Can you give up? It's good. This is a blondie. So the chocolates, and I'm not sure what that is. Caramel? Try it out. Shall I take this piece, guys? This is the pound cake with some fresh berries and some whipped cream on the side. Looks really good. So, yeah, if you are going through town in Central Florida, check out this place. This just has everything very old Floridian charming southern style really cool and this goes out to the other entrance i guess just a really breezy old florida field you know this is like back in time it's so pretty so on this side there's a little more you can get a feel of the aesthetics of this hotel very um yeah old florida so talk about southern charm this has got it and i don't know just after you know your buffet you can walk off some of that food by oops just taking a walk look at this beautiful tree so there you go, the Jacaranda Hotel. All right, guys, so this is another spot. This is called the Sebring Diner. So this is a cute vintage restaurant with indoor and outdoor seating. And I love this one because it's conveniently located right on US Highway 27. So this is perfect for a delicious meal if you're taking a road trip through Central Florida. All right, so this is the menu. We got breakfast. Got griddle cakes. It looks really good. A lot of good options here. And their coffee sounds interesting. There's like Thunder Brew coffee. And they have sweet tea too. So this is a very uh, vintage <laughs> restaurant. You can see the vibe here. Thank you so this much. looks good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is country fried steak with scrambled eggs and grits. Some serious butter on these grits. Just gotta mix it all up. But you definitely, definitely not um, skimping on the butter, which is really good. It's hot and fresh, just the way it should be. You can put some of this hot sauce on the omelet to make it nice and spicy. Looks good. So country fried steak is good. Give you so much gravy. Yum. So this is sausage gravy. Really peppery, good. Hash brown patties. And yeah, their um their sausage gravy has really good um actual chunks of sausage in there. It's really good. Look at their fluffy biscuits. My mom's cutting up her biscuit. It looks good. It's like it's almost as big as that plate. Right. Wow. I eat this. And before I get to the last one, which was my favorite, um, here are a couple of bonus ones. The first one is the Broken Egg Diner. It's a local diner that's tucked away in a shopping plaza and is brimming with locals. And you know it's good when this is where the locals hang out. I loved that they served up large portions for a low price. And my favorite was the biscuits and gravy. It was so good. The second bonus one is called Azul Tequila and they had huge portions for a good price so this is a mexican restaurant and once again what i loved too was that they were right on highway 27 so very convenient if you are driving on a road trip through town all right we are in lakeland this is Aksumi ramen bar this is the menu here we're gonna get some ramen i like that you can build your own ramen um it starts at seven and then you can like just you know Add your own toppings. Um, or you can have, you know, on the back they have like the different kinds of ramen you can choose from. They have a lot of, a lot of um, choices here. I love their, their spoon. Their soy sauce is so cute. 
All right, the gyozas have arrived. They look kind of crispy, the pan fried gyozas with a set of sauce. And so you just dip them in there. This is the spicy ramen. Man, look at this. It's a huge bowl. What is this? That's a tempura. This shrimp is tempura. Um, shrimp tempura. This long shrimp. And that's nori. Soft jammy egg. This is the spicy one. So these are fresh bamboo shoots. And um, I tried it. It's really spicy. To me it is. It's got some serious heat to me. But it's good. My mom likes it. It's got like a curry um, undertones. So if you like curry noodles, check this out. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna try to talk. My mom says it wasn't spicy, but it was so spicy. See how it's kind of thick? That's some good broth right there. But yeah, it's got a definite kick to it. Um, so they top it off with this um, shrimp tempura. It's longer than this, I ate some. But it's really good. This is so crunchy. So yeah, if you like spicy stuff, um, get this one. I got a bite of my mom's chicken from her her spicy one. The red stuff you hear, you see here? The red stuff you see here is the chili pepper that's like sliced super thin. Super duper thin. But yeah, it's kind of yellow, right? You see the, um, the curry base for the spiciness. All right, so I got the garlic lover. You can smell the garlic, man. The cilantro is really fresh. And look at that broth. Jammy eggs as well. Let's dig in. All right, tonkatsu, here we go. I like to kind of see what's underneath. This is what not to do. <laughs> go from the middle. I don't know if I'm just easily impressed, but they have these wooden spoons, which makes it really authentic to me. <laughs> There's bean sprouts in here too, tomatoes. Really, really good ramen, guys. Look at that, steaming hot. That's what's in here. All right, so let's see what else is in here. These are bamboo shoots. All right, that's, you know, the green stuff is cilantro. There's some tomatoes in here, which is unusual, but I don't not like it. Like, it's good. And these are bean sprouts, of course. You guys know that. A lot of meat, a lot of flavor in here. It's really garlicky, so if you love garlic, try out this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed my food tour through Central Florida. And please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. There's surprisingly a lot of things to discover in Central Florida, like this beautiful garden that we visited with a singing tower. Like it, it didn't even feel like Florida to me. So please subscribe if you wanna see my next video on that. And if you like travel guides and food guides, please subscribe and stay tuned.